What is up guys? This is D1 Snipes. It's been a while. Um, I'm, what I'm going to be bringing you today is a uh, breakdown of a really good <clears throat> a really good capture the flag game we played oh, earlier. Me and Reckneck, uh, he got his master rank on this uh, oh, on this map. So oh, what I really wanted to go over here was the teamwork and then a couple plays that I made that were really big in us winning because uh, we ended up winning well I won't tell you I'll let you I'll let you see the gameplay but um, what I notice off the break really quick is we're letting people get into our spawn super easy like we are letting them slay one guy and then pick up the flag and you never want that you always want to rotate back and pick up that guy and fill in that open spot because if you don't then all it takes is one maybe two more kills and that's an automatic flag kill so I've learned a ton about capture the flag playing with the guys in league playing some eights and one thing that I've learned about Capture the Flag is you have to move as a team. And if you have communication, you can do that. Even if you're not that good of a team, even if you're not slaying that well, you can move as a team. If you get a feel, even if you're by yourself really, if you can get a feel for how your team is moving on the map, like how often they slay and get to move up, See, right here, we get a, in a bad spot. We get a guy, Laundry, and we got a guy on uh, B-Ball, which is kind of shitty because you don't know where they're going to spawn. They could spawn front ring, or they could spawn into the uh, in the front pool. So as a, as a cutoff player, is what I'm doing right here, just kind of slaying in the middle with an AR, I don't know where to look. And... If your team knows where you're already set up, because I set up open stairs a lot, because I like to go pull side as an AR player, because if you can lock that pull side down, it being the shortest route, I mean, not the safest, but it being the shortest route, if you can lock that side down and get somebody in middle slaying just a little, then you've got a real, real good shot of, uh, of getting a few flag caps. So... Well, basically what I'm doing here is I'm just I'm locking this side down. I'm slaying fairly well. I mean I'm I missed some shots, but for the most part I'm I'm slaying well. And we're moving up in the middle and laundry side, which is okay because if that forces a spawn to uh, my side, then I can pick them up pretty easy off off uh, respawn. So that's okay if they can push that spawn down to me and make them try and overextend. See, some teams in the league will automatically try and overextend. This was a great juke by that guy. I had no idea where he was going. I thought he was going mid, then I thought he was going outside raid. He just happened to come right to me after a reload. But we got really lucky there. If you would have killed me, they probably would have got a cap. So now I get stuck kind of on the other side, which is okay. I mean, I try to get top laundry control because... What I try to do on the bottom raid side is uh, my first goal as an AR player is to get control of the poolside. I love running the flag that way. And if you can get top uh, bedroom and cover your flag carrier, you're golden until it gets to blue car. But if you can get an SMG player roaming uh, zigzags in blue car here, then uh, I mean you're you're golden as far as capping flags. Now that hellstorm right there was a smart play by me but it was also a bad play um first off I didn't kill anybody which is always a bad hellstorm if you don't kill somebody with streaks you're doing it bad I know there's the ping and all that shit but if you're not trying if you're not killing somebody with a streak unless it's S and D express then you're you're not doing something right you need to get a kill especially in capture the flag because those five seconds are critical especially in a respawn game like this so uh, I caught it down because we weren't slaying well. I was close to overlapping. And uh, we could have pulled one out right there because I had three guys top laundry alive. If I would have killed one or two guys off that hellstorm, 
with one more respawning and then one guy in kitchen, we could have pulled that easy right down the middle. So that's that's why I did it. That was the thought process behind it. It didn't work out and we all end up getting killed, but I think it was a smart play at the time just because I was well aware of everything going on. The score streaks, <laughs> people not good. slaying. Um, I finished, I think, 12 and 8. I can't really see it on my screen, but uh, you guys will be able to tell. Anyway, you can see we are, nobody is really slaying. I'm the only one that's, that's slaying well for both teams, really, other than uh, Atheist Squirrel, which he noticed my, uh, is Gargiven, Domingo Ayala, Online Baseball Academy, hit it up, I put it in the description. Uh, I'm going to send you a message for that AT score, just so you know. Uh, yeah, I, I definitely added him. He's the first one to catch on to that. Um, <laughs> anyway, we, we got a pretty good laugh out of that. So, on this side, I mean, we did okay holding down it defensively. As, as bad as we were slaying, we did a good job. So, what I do here on the other side is my main goal is to hold this, to force that spawn into uh, into raid side, force them front driveway. If we can do that, then you can pull it back easy because it's pretty easy to cover top laundry. If you can get another AR up there, you can spawn trap the shit out of them, and it's ridiculous. Not a lot of people know about that one, but I mean, you can do it bad if you can get somebody in zigzags and somebody uh, try to get them overextending on a new team. Don't get them rotating back through. That's what you should do, but that's another video. Anyway, the Wreck picks up a big kill right there and doesn't die, and he goes raid side. Um, but anyway, uh, Ace, uh, Ath Atheist Squirrel did a really good job of keeping me from top pool, because that's what I like to do in this map. And I end up getting a little out of sync here, because, uh, because I know that he's good at keeping me out of there. So... I realize here that he pulled the wrong way. I spawned pool side, and I noticed there was nobody pool, and I yelled at him to take it middle, but he thought that, uh, I mean, he was just pulling it, just to just to try and get something out and get something going, but he just happened to pull it to the wrong side. He couldn't have known. Uh, he couldn't have known. So, I mean, it's not a bad play on his part. I tried to push up right here and get killed. Uh, that was probably a bad play because I had a guy down, and... We, we were starting to make a move right here. So I spawned top laundry, but I noticed I got two guys pulled. So I know that somebody has to be in b-ball or kitchen or somewhere like that. So I take a peek. Yep, I notice he's cut out. So I check middle, check middle, and I can just wait right here because he's not going to make a move knowing that I'm here. Okay, So he's, he's going to try and hide, but he knows that I know where he is. So He's, I mean, he's not going to really have a move. Uh, I probably, well, he was weak, so that was a good challenge by me. Um, I keep on to my lightning strike here just in case they get a pull. Uh, I could have used it offensively, but I was really trying to save it and just hope that my team would start slaying a lot better. So I think here's where we get our first pull. Uh, he pulls at pull side. We got nobody, and we got wreck neck. I'm gonna pause. Well, I can't pause it, but I notice that we have a uh, guy pull and pull, and we got a guy zigzags. So we are set up golden right now. So I'm just trying to clean up kills right here, make sure that we don't get a guy sneaking around, and uh, we we instantly put the pressure back on him because so many teams I see in league play that this happens in slums so much and it drives me crazy because I hate it but in slums if you sit back in the bottom spawn and just try and grind it out for to keep them from capping you are gonna get you're gonna drop three caps because you don't uh, you don't have time to recover you get in a spawn trap you see if you get two guys down in blue and a guy down double D sitting that far back you spawn all the way in the back. You spawn all the way back where anchor spot is. And if you get a guy back there, Wreck makes a great call out here. He's blocking the spawns, and I just go to work on guys that are going to pillars. But um, if you get back 
into slums like that, you have no chance. If you get somebody cop car, if you get somebody in blue or middle, you can't just straight rush them. Uh, you'll get gunned down. You have to work as a team and stay pushed up. What you want to try and do on that map is really get uh, get map control. But tr try and push out from the bottom. I mean, if you can't get a cap, at least try and keep map control. That's the key. If you can keep map control in any, oh, I, I mean, in any really? map, then you're gonna <laughs> win. But I mean, if you can push out just a little bit and give yourself enough time to maybe get that blue stair spawn in slums, then I mean, you can. You got a chance to win, and you have a good chance of doing it uh, pretty easily. I mean, if, if you can push That's up and hold crazy. the map from the bottom side, then you're doing pretty good. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay. Uh, sorry that the game audio was kind of messed up. The uh, I'm gonna have to fix that with the Elgato because I'm trying to record with what I'm using on my game chat, which is a Turtle Beach X11. Um, I'll see if I can get that fixed for you guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the flip. Later.